In this video, we're going to look at the gate valve. The gate valve is quite interesting because it's one of the most common types of valve and it's also one of the simplest. So let's take a cross section so we can actually have a look at the insides of the valve. So here we have a gate valve. I'll push the play button and then we can watch the gate valve operating or actuating. So now it's in the closed position and it's moving up to the open position. You can see that when the valve is fully open, there is very little resistance to flow passing through the valve. Now this is very good because this means we're going to have a very low pressure drop. So as the fluid or the gas is flowing through the valve, it's going to encounter very little resistance and we'll have a correspondingly low pressure drop. Now gate valves are normally used in line that means they're used just to pass flow through, but occasionally you might need to close the valve and isolate the system, and that is what a gate valve is for. Gate valves are only used for open and close. They're not used for throttling or regulating the flow. I'll show you why. If we look down here at the bottom of the valve, you can see it's fully closed now. The disc is pressed against the seat. I'll pause it. Now it is only half open. So this is in the throttled position. The problem with this is that firstly, the amount of flow through the valve is not proportional to the amount that this gate has traveled. So the disc, this section here, has traveled up and it looks like approximately halfway. But the flow through the valve is not gonna be half of the max flow capacity. The flow through the valve is not linear or proportional to the amount the valve is open. This means that when you actually open the valve halfway, you're going to get a lot of flow between the disc and the body here. And this is going to be proportionally quite a large amount of flow with a high velocity. This high velocity often leads to seat and disc wear. The other problem, apart from the high velocity, is the turbulence. As the flow passes through this small gap between the disc and the body, there is a lot of turbulence and this also creates a larger pressure drop which again is what you don't want this is resistance to flow so gate valves are not very well suited to throttling in fact they should either be only fully open or fully closed typical service temperatures are going to be between about minus 20 to 60 degrees celsius pressures up to approximately 16 bar these valves are not suitable for very high pressures because you're actually going to blow the packing out or cause the packing to leak. So 16 bar would be the max service pressure. And for flow rates, you're looking at anything between 5 to 20 meters per second, depending upon if the flow medium is a liquid or a gas. For liquids, the flow rate is actually going to be less. So you're looking in the 5 meters max per second range. And for gases, you're looking up to maybe 20 meters per second. We're going to look at all of these aspects of the gate valve later in the course and we're going to go into a lot more detail. So let's now go to next lesson and we can have a look at the next valve design.